today we're going to talk about resistance. Our new component on the bench is the dimmer. The dimmer component is a linear potentiometer, and a potentiometer is a variable resistor. If we look at the back of our dimmer component, we can see that the potentiometer is rated for 100 kilo ohms. With our dimmer switch set in the dimmest position here, we can see that our multimeter reads 100 kilo ohms. As we slide it toward the brighter side, you can see the kilo ohm reading decreasing until we're all the way at the brightest side and we're down here around 10, 5, 8 kilo ohms. Let's see how this works in our circuit. Let's turn on our battery component and see how it all works. My dimmer switch is in the brightest position right now and you can see that my LED is quite bright. As I slide the switch down to the dim side, it gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until when we're all the way there, it's quite dim. Now I'm going to draw a circuit that allows me to measure the current in that circuit. In order to do that, I need to put my multimeter in series with my other components. The current in this circuit is gonna flow out of the positive side of my battery through the red wire, into the multimeter, out of the multimeter, out of the black wire, and then into the LED, through my dimmer switch, and then back to the negative side of my battery. I'm gonna set my multimeter to milliamps because the unit of current is amps and a milliamp is one thousandth of an amp. With my multimeter configured, I'm gonna turn on my battery and notice that my dimmer switch is in the bright position which lets the most current through and gives me the brightest light on my LED. As I slide the dimmer switch to the dim position, you can see the current is dropping. And when we're all the way in the dimmest position, we have the lowest current and the dimmest LED. Let's take a closer look at what's going on inside our circuit. With our dimmer switch or potentiometer at its brightest setting, we can see that our resistance is at its lowest making our current at its highest and our LED at its brightest. As we slide our potentiometer towards dim, we can see our resistance increasing, which makes our current decrease and our LED gets dimmer. The most common kind of resistor is a quarter watt resistor and we can interface them with our circuit using this two pin module. The two pin module is available in the ultra kit and above. Each of these resistors is different and we can calculate their values using the resistance color codes. Page 21 of your notebook is where the resistor color code chart is located. The first band stands for the tens place of your number. The second band stands for the ones place of your number. And the third band is your multiplier, which is a power of 10. So let's see how this example works. Our first band is brown, so that means your tens place is a one. The second band is red, so your ones place is a two, so that's a 12. Your third band is blue, so we're multiplying it by 10 to the sixth, or one million. So let's identify the resistors provided to us in the ultra kit. Each of the resistors in our ultra kit has a brown band and then a black band. Brown stands for one, black stands for zero, so each of them has a numerical value of 10. The third band on each of our resistors is the multiplier. Our top resistor here has a third band that is red, therefore the multiplier is a two. So 10 times 10 to the two is a thousand, or one kilo ohm. The resistor sitting in the middle has a third band that is yellow. Yellow stands for four. So 10 times 10 to the fourth, or 10 times 10,000, is 100,000. So that's 100,000 ohms, or 100 kilo ohms. Our 100 kilo ohm resistor is equivalent to the dimmest setting on our slider switch. We can see on the back, that it says 100 kilo ohms. Bringing back our original circuit, we can replace our dimmer switch with our two pin module and insert our resistors into our circuit. This resistor has stripes of brown, black, brown, which translates to 100 ohms. So you can see that our LED is nice and bright and our current is at 1.8 milliamps. This resistor has slightly more resistance. Here we have brown, black, red, or 1000 ohms. Our LED is still pretty bright, but not quite as bright, and our current is now 1.4 milliamps. As we move down through our resistors, 
This one is brown, black, orange, which is 10,000 ohms. Our LED is a little dimmer, and our current is 0.47 milliamps. This resistor is brown, black, yellow, which is 100,000 ohms. This resistor is equivalent to the highest setting in the dimmer module, the most resistance, so the least amount of current. Our LED is pretty dim, and we have 0.57 milliamps. Our last resistor has bands brown, black, green, which is 1 million ohms or 1 mega ohm. You can see that our LED is almost off and our current is basically nothing. Um, it keeps flashing between 0 0.001 and 0 milliamps. If we change this to microamps, you can see some numbers pop up, but again, they're very small, 5.5 microamps. Our notebook says that our conductive ink has a resistance of about one ohm per centimeter. So let's test that and make our own variable resistor. With my multimeter connected to my trace, here at my black alligator clip, I can take my red alligator clip and slide it along the trace. As you see the red alligator clip get farther away from the black, you can see the resistance increasing. This is a concept that we will explore more in later videos. Thanks to CircuitScribe for sponsoring this series of educational videos. All of the components in this video are for sale on the CircuitScribe website. Use code for Bowie Makers to get 15% off. Also on the website is troubleshooting if you have trouble with your pen or any of the components, and you can sign up for their live classes. I'm Ms. Bowie. Tune in next time to learn about time-dependent circuits.